Today we're talking about two 2024 special releases from Michter's, Shanks and Bomberger's. Welcome to Average Joe's Whiskey. My name is Joe. I am super excited today because this is the first year I was able to secure both a Shanks and a Bomberger's. Today I'm gonna pour them both and tell you what I think. So I'm actually gonna pour both of these real quick just so they can start getting some air while we talk a little bit about them. All right, let's move this Bomb Burgers off to the side and we will talk about the Shanks first. So Shanks is named after John Shank, who was the original owner of the Michter's Distillery. The distillery originally opened in 1753. John Shank was the guy who opened it. So when you hear about all the Michter's stories about Michter's being served to George Washington's troops, none of those are probably true, but you probably heard the story. John Shank was the owner of the distillery when that would have happened, if it had happened. It probably didn't happen, but whatever. So John Shank opened the distillery. Later in the 1800s, it was renamed Bomberger's, which is how we get the Bomberger's declaration name here. And then in the mid 1900s, it became Michter's Distillery, which is the name we all know today. So there's a little bit of history for you. Let's get into this bottle here. So like I said, this is the 2024 release. It comes in at 91.2 proof. This is bottle 2129 of 2575. So these, uh, these batches are fairly limited, which is interesting because these have been all over Virginia lately. All of these ABC drops have been putting out shanks and bomb burgers. It's pretty crazy. But anyway, this is a Kentucky sour mash whiskey. So this is not a bourbon. It is not a rye. It does contain rye whiskey, according to their website. And they also mention that it contains whiskey with unique grains, like malted rye and caramel malt. So I'm not sure exactly what the mash bill is, but it does contain some of those unique grains. That's one thing we do know. So another interesting thing about this bottle, this contains rye whiskey that was aged in French oak. French oak sourced from the Vosges region of France. There's no way I pronounced that correctly, but that's okay, we're gonna plow forward. So rye whiskey aged in French oak that has been seasoned for 24 months and then toasted to Michter's specifications. So a lot of time was put into this whiskey, a lot of time and a lot of moving parts. A lot of different grains, a lot of different blends, different aging techniques. Let's see how it smells and how it tastes. And this, this is a strong nose for a 91 proof whiskey. So this is a very unique nose. It's got, it's got some cherry, kind of like a medicinal cherry. It's also got a lot of like herbal notes kind of like a black tea and then it's got some spice like uh not like a cinnamon but more like a, a nutmeg or an allspice or something but that that balance it's got a really nice balance of that medicinal cherry and that black tea note it's just super interesting all right let's try it Very nice. Not quite as sweet as I would have expected based on the nose, but that those black tea notes do really come through. The cherry is a little more subtle on the palate than on the nose. Let's try it again. It's got an excellent mouthfeel for 91 proof. Very viscous. I was not really expecting that. And then it has a lot of complexity, like a lot of very subtle notes, the herbal, the cherry, the spice. You also get hints of vanilla and there's like a uh, caramel undertone to the whole thing. If I had a more sophisticated palette, I could probably pick out 10 more notes, 
you can just taste the complexity, but it's hard to, for me, it's hard to pinpoint more than like five notes in a whiskey. Maybe I'll get there one day, but at that point, I kind of feel like I'm overthinking it. Let's try it one more time before we move on to the bomb burgers here. Yeah, the caramel is coming out a little bit stronger now. One of my personal holdups to buying shanks has always been the price tag. This is $109 MSRP or $110 MSRP for a 91 proof whiskey that's not particularly old. It just seems kind of like a reach and you'll often see this bottle for a lot higher than 110. I regularly see it for like 180, 200, sometimes even higher than that. So the price tag leaves a lot to be desired. However, it is, I have to say, an exceptional whiskey. I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I actually like it. The complexity, the uniqueness is just, I like to, I like whiskeys that are a little bit different. And this is, this, this is totally different. This is not your typical bourbon or rye, not even your typical like Michter's sour mash. It's just different than everything else that's out there. And I really do appreciate that about this bottle. So Shanks, excellent, excellent pour. All right, let's get into the bomb burgers here. All right, so some fun facts about this bomb burgers here. This is aged in chinkapin oak, which is a different type of white oak that's native to the Northeast and the Midwest, I believe. And the chinkapin oak is seasoned for three years, which is an extra long seasoning time before being toasted and charred to Michter's specifications. There's also bourbon in here that contains malted rye in the mash bill. So it's not just your typical corn, rye, and barley. At least some of the whiskey in here has malted rye in the mash bill. So let's see if that gives it a unique flavor profile between the malted rye and the chinkapin. Also, before I get into the nose, this Bomberger's comes in at 108 proof. And this is bottle 1200 of 2503. Again, it's a pretty limited release. I'm surprised how many bottles Virginia got, but all right, let's get into the nose. So first off, it's a very different nose from the Shanks. The Shanks is a lot brighter. This Bomb Burgers is definitely on the darker side. It's almost like a, uh, like a burnt caramel maybe, with a little bit of spice in there. Not as fruity, definitely not as fruity as the Shanks. There might be some like chocolate covered cherry, but it's not, uh, none of the bright cherry notes that I was getting from the Shanks. Yeah, chocolate covered cherry is really that prominent note here. All right, let's try it. Really nice finish. Wow, so you do get some of that chocolate covered cherry sweetness on the front. And then I feel like that oak, that chinkapin kind of shows up mid palate. And then it's got a nice spicy finish. Let's try it again. So I feel like this Bomb Burgers needs a lot of time to open up. This one's been sitting for a while now, and I'm very impressed with the nose and the palate. So it is a much darker flavor profile, but it's got those darker chocolatey notes. It's got some spice, and that oak definitely shows up in this, but it's not like a soft oak that you get on like a older bourbon. It's more on the freshly cut oak side. And this is definitely a very unique and interesting bourbon. Again, with the price tag, this is about $120 MSRP. And you see it marked up again to 180, 200, sometimes even higher. It's a cool whiskey. It's a unique whiskey. If you're looking for something that's different than the typical Michters or different than most other bourbons, then it is something that I think you'll enjoy drinking. Let's compare it to the Shanks real quick before we make our final decision of which one of these is better. That's not really the point of this, but we might as well. 
I just, I love the nose on the shanks. So complex, so bright, yet also with the herbal notes, it's very interesting. Man, I really like that shanks. I really like it. Let's try our last sip of the bomb burgers here. On that sip of the bomb burgers, I got a blast of maple syrup. Very interesting. Maple syrupy, chocolatey, another really unique pour. Honestly, I thought I was gonna like the bomb burgers a lot better just because of the proof difference, but I don't think that's true. The Shanks is really exceptional. Honestly, I'm tempted to give both of these bottles an A rating if it weren't for the price tag. Considering the price and availability, then I might downgrade them to like a B plus. But both of these are delicious. If we're not factoring in value or availability, then both of these bottles, definitely an A. Definitely recommend. They're both very different than what's out there, both very unique. And if you like that uniqueness, then I think you're gonna love these. If you just like the sweet bourbon flavors, if you just want a vanilla bomb, then you're not really missing anything with these. Neither one of these is a vanilla bomb or a cherry bomb. Both very subtle, both very interesting. But two excellent whiskeys from Michter's. I'm glad I was able to get my hands on both of these. That doesn't usually happen. So thank you to Virginia ABC. And thank you to you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, take a minute and watch another video here or there.